guys, welcome back to my channel, Violet here, and today I am proud <laughs> to be reacting to Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame. <laughs> I was trying to be uh, intense with that, but I guess that didn't come off. Let me try again. Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame. <laughs> Anticlimactic, but it's okay. Because Endgame is coming out soon, and I, for one, am ready to see what happens. Okay, so let me just get right into this. I am excited to see what they have. I saw the teaser trailer already, so I have an idea of, I think, what they might show. But let's see if I am right. So Marvel Studios, Endgame, I'm ready. Yes, scraps after the snap. Been like how many years in the making? Damn. None of us can go back. Well, I feel like his family is gone, guys. I don't know why, but he looks broken down and just angry. And I feel like in the snap, his family got snapped away. I could be wrong, though. Damn. Jeez. It's crazy how when they're showing the black and white scenes, everything is black and white but the reds. Is that for... Am I missing something? I don't know. Anyways. I guess when I think of Avengers, I, the first color I think of is red and blue. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm grasping for strings at this point. Damn. Can you imagine? Because the thing about it is obviously in Avengers, they're focusing on the heroes, right? But if half the universe actually got snapped away, every single person is going to be in mourning because someone that they knew or close to you definitely got snapped. That is crazy. I feel like it's almost like post-apocalyptic. Pretty much. It kind of is. That's a wipeout. And then it's just here like, what happened? What happened? <laughs> what happened? Yes, Rocket. <laughs> you know what's funny? Everything seemed intense until I saw Ant-Man. <laughs> Everything seemed intense until they showed Ant-Man. Something about it, they made a right move by going the comedic route with Ant-Man because something about it, you just can't take it too seriously. It's just, it's Ant-Man. The premise already already throws you off and makes you want to laugh, but nonetheless, let me move on. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, Tony. Yes, they're all suited up, ready to go into battle. End game. I'm excited. I am more than excited. You're gonna see me front front row, not front row, like middle row, but front in line, in line, front. In front of the line, <laughs> waiting for my ticket. Oh, we got some Captain Marvel in here. I like this one. Because <laughs> she didn't flinch. April 26th. It's like a late birthday present to me because my birthday's on April 21st. So it's like, you know. You know. I'm, I wonder if it's going to be as long as the first one. The first one I remember was long as hell. It's so soon. I don't know why I thought they're going to drag it out for a longer time and not let it come out for a longer time to like build up the hype. But I think it's actually smart that it's coming out now. Like sooner than later because the hype might die down a little bit if they wait too long I guess. But it looks intense. I'm ready. I'm ready to see how they're going to get... How they're gonna reverse time or do whatever they're gonna do to get their people back. I'm excited to see how Captain Marvel comes into play. I need to go see Captain Marvel. I've not seen it yet, so I'm not even sure what her powers are. I'm not really, I don't follow the comic books, so I don't, I just like the movies. So I'm excited to see what her powers are. And I'm excited to see how they're gonna get their people back. I'm assuming they're gonna reverse time because some of the main characters that died weren't snapped away. Like, for example, Gamora. She better not be dead for real. <laughs> I'll be pissed. So. I would like to see, hopefully, that they bring her back. So I'm assuming they're gonna reverse time or do something to that effect that reverses everything that happened. So I am excited, I am ready, I've been ready, my soul has been ready, my shadow has been ready, and April 26th is the day of reckoning when I see Avengers Endgame. 
See, that was good. That was intense enough. <laughs> shout out time. Today's shout out goes out to Marcelo Reese Alves. And he said, where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. I live in Canada right now. And yes, I'm a, what you call an African Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> but that was my reaction to Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame. If you like this reaction, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any other videos you'd like to see me react to. What do you think is going to happen? How do you think they're going to go about it? Because I want to know. And if you know anything, I could just be missing something. I don't know if I'm just not getting it right now, but I'm not really getting the whole red thing. Like when they're showing the black and white scenes and everything in the scene is black and white but red. Is that like a sign of mourning? Because I know red is like a sign of mourning. To some people so is it a sign of mourning does it represent something in the marvel universe or am i just reading too deep into it <laughs> if you know let me know don't forget to also subscribe for more videos coming your way and click that notification bell so you can get a notification every time i put up a new video and i'll see you back here next time bye